A little over a year ago, we did a review on Hydro, and we said that this is one of the best rowers that are out there. Not just smart rowers, but regular rowers as well. The problem is, it's freaking expensive. So, Hydro came out with this one. This is the Hydro Wave, and I think is the closest, if not the best competitor to, yes, the Concept2 rower. Fight! Let's talk about it. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Koo from Garage Gym Reviews, and we're here in the Garage Gym again. Today we're gonna do a comparison and mostly talking about what I think is a competitor. I don't know if it's better, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I think is one of the most legitimate competitors to the best rowing title that's out there, and I wanna give some reasons why. Now, Hydro isn't the only company producing a smart rower. We've done reviews on pretty much all smart rowers. If you'd like to see that video or article talking about the best that are out there, you can click the link below the like button. Also, if you like rowing reviews, gym equipment reviews, home gym reviews, make sure you subscribe, because that's what we do for a living, and we have many upcoming. But I think that the timing of this release is quite interesting, because a rower that we've had our eyes on and one that we're waiting to come out to review is the Peloton rower. Peloton came out and basically gave a teaser of their new rower that they're gonna announce. And I'm curious to see the pricing, everything like that. I love that now Hydro has a creme de la creme option, which is this one right here, that weighs over 140 pounds, looks almost like a Porsche or a yacht, just beautiful lines, massive 22 inch screen, and now they have a more budget friendly option. It features a lot of the same things as the regular Hydro, but in a cheaper, smaller, lighter, compact body. Let's talk about it. So the difference between a Hydro and many other rowers that you're aware of, like a Concept2, is that this one uses magnetic resistance. Typically, the cheaper rowers used magnetic resistance. If you go on Amazon and type in rower, you'll find a ton of $50, $100, $200 rowers that are absolute crap and use magnetic resistance. The reason they're crap is because the resistance isn't consistent and it ends up breaking down over time. So Hydro basically took that idea and applied it to a rower. Hydro and the magnetic resistance it uses is extremely smooth. I would actually say it's smoother than a Concept2 rower that uses a chain drive and then fans for the resistance. This one over here, the Hydro Wave, actually uses the exact same internals on the magnetic resistance. This means that the same rower that costs nearly $2,500 that we recommended often, but honestly was out of the price point for many people, is now offered here and is offered at a price point that is extremely competitive at under 1500 bucks. This is what you get for your 1500 bucks. Number one is you get the same magnetic resistance you get on Hydro, the exact same. You know, I wish they marketed that differently, like they don't really talk about it a ton, but it makes sense because they don't wanna cannibalize their upper end, higher end product because they have probably higher margin on it. The other thing that I think is really beneficial is this is actually a smaller and lighter rower than Hydro, and one reason that it's so light compared to Hydro is Hydro is using a lot of metal within the design. This one is using a polymer. They use a mold for this. I'm guessing the mold on this is extremely expensive, by the way. Like these molds are so pricey, but they're using it and they're using this polymer to make a really rigid design. You only need so much rigidity. And this provides, in my experience, after using it, way more rigidity than you'd ever need. Because they have the economies of scale of a lot of buyers, they can afford buying a mold that's very expensive and then producing it at a lower cost. I mean, you can see it, it almost looks like there's a camo look to it. It's very smooth. I am typically not a fan of plastic. I really like the direction they went with this. Okay, this video is brought to you by Future. <laughs> I've been using Future for literally over a year, 300 plus workouts and lots of weight lifted. I like it so much, we did a review on it. People were like, ah, Coop, that seems like an ad. It wasn't, but because people accused me of making money off it, I might as well just make some money off it. So that's why we're doing a future ad. But I don't just like it, I've gotten other people on it as well. Nathan, the guy behind the camera, also uses it. I've got my wife using it. Future is awesome. It's a training platform that uses an app that allows you to have a personal coach that is texting me, my guy's name is Morton, 
and I really like him, shout out Morton. But if you'd like to start using Future for your training, they're offering a discount just for GGR followers at the link below the like button for $19 a month for your very first month. So if you'd like to join me on Future, then hit the link in the bio. This is the rail. The rail on a rower is one of the most important features, I think, because if you have a rail that sticks, that doesn't slide, you're doing thousands and thousands of reps on this thing. Having something that's very smooth matters. This is actually a different rail design than they went with the regular hydro. If you see on the regular hydro, the rollers are actually on the sides here and it's on this metal rail. It's a very smooth feeling rower, but I'd actually say that hydro wave may be even smoother. Like it just glides. And then everything else about it is very similar to the hydro, the main version. So the same seat, which is a very comfortable seat. It's more padded than what we see on Concept 2, but they've got the nice hydro logo on the handle, which is a nice rubber grip with ergonomic handle, something similar similar that we see on Concept 2. Same thing with like the foot pads. They've got this nice like topographic. And then the screen. And this is the big difference between this one and the regular Hydro. I think this is where you'd really be thinking about spending your money and I'll talk about which one I would go with in a moment. But this one uses a 16 inch screen versus a 22 inch screen. Although this one is smaller, it's six inches smaller, I don't feel like it's quite as small as Michael Scott when he had the dinner party and showed everybody his plasma screen. Check it out. Wow. I feel like the distance away that you are, 16 inches is fine. Now, like my wife likes to remind me, bigger is always better. That's what she said. <laughs> so I would prefer a 22 incher, but 16 inches, I think for the price is probably fine for most people. Welcome to Home Gym Hacks. So this is a segment we're gonna start doing within reviews where we basically give a hack on the piece of equipment we're reviewing. This is one that I think a lot of people can use. A lot of people in home gyms, they have ab wheels or rollout wheels, something like that, where they're trying to do ab rollouts. You can use your rower in two different ways for an ab rollout that I think is actually better than most ab wheels. Number one, you've got a smooth rail and you've got something that moves. So anytime you use a carpet slide or something like that, you can do that same thing on your rower and it's extremely smooth. This is how it works. You basically get in a plank position, but instead of being on the floor with your feet, you get on the rower seat. You stay within that plank position and then curl up. You keep that midline stable and bring your knees as high as you can. And I'm telling you, this can get rough. I suggest doing like a Tabata or you could do sets of like 20, wait a few seconds, come back on. Like it can even get rough quick, but you can also turn around and do like a, you know, a typical ab rollout. If you're not somebody that has a ton of ab or core stability, you can go on your knees and come out. And I'm telling you, this is way smoother than any ab wheel you're gonna use, but you can also come all the way up, come down, and then back up. And as you get stronger, you can come all the point where you're here, I'm not there yet. But you can come out here and then back up. Way better than an ab wheel and you can do with any rower, including the Hydro Wave. This has been Home Gym Hacks. Now, one way that people are using Hydro and all these devices in the way that these companies are increasing versatility and just stick to for you purchasing the membership is they have things off rower. So they have basically workouts that you can use the rower for, for rowing, but they also have like body weight workouts or if you have basic dumbbell sets, things like that. Same things we see with Peloton. This screen does not swivel. So this screen doesn't go side to side. The big screen does. Now, does that matter? I think it depends on where you're working out. Uh, but if you're working out on the side of the rower, it would be nice if this one swiveled. And I'm actually surprised they didn't add that because I don't think that would have added a ton of cost. But it makes sense because they're trying to get people probably that want that feature to upgrade to the more expensive option. Now, there's another thing on the screen that's worth talking about, and that's the speakers. The speakers are actually the exact same speakers on both the regular Hydro and the Wave. Now, the other thing to talk about is the software. And the software is the exact same, which means you get the same access to on-water rowing 
rowing that I think is the best of the smart rowers that are out there. Now we've tested and reviewed literally every smart rower that's out there in all their programming from City Row to Echelon to Averon, and there's some good ones. But for me and my purposes, the Onrata rowing is the best. It just feels very immersive. It's very calming. It's just, it's nice. It's a very good experience and something that I haven't seen another company replicate. Now, one thing that we wanted to find out was the just row option or the row only option, which means you don't have a membership and you just wanna use the rower for rowing because I think that's something that a lot of people should consider. But if you don't wanna pay for the membership, which Hydro has stated, if you are not gonna pay for the membership, they think you should consider buying a different rower, which means they're so hot on their membership that they're like, if you're not gonna buy the membership, maybe don't even buy our rower. Understand that you will have all the metrics that you would normally have on the screen, but number one, you can't save them. Number two, you can't be a part of any of the challenges or leaderboards or any of that kind of stuff that's inherent in the machine. Number three, we called them to find out you can't actually use any of the other services that you could connect to. I'm looking to buy a hydro and my question is if I'm in row only mode, can I still connect to like Strava and things like that or do I have to have a membership in order to connect to those services? You will have to have a membership. Okay, so they, it won't, won't make any connection to Strava or any, any of those other connected services unless I have a membership. Correct. There's our answer. The only thing you can connect to is a Bluetooth heart rate monitor via Bluetooth. You can't connect to Strava or any of those and therefore you can't save any of your progress. Super annoying. That's something that you can do with other options that like a Concept2 with a PM5 monitor. It is a little bit clunky, but that's something that you have to have the membership for, which I think uh, I understand it from their end because they're trying to make money and they probably make money mostly through the annuity model, their membership. But for the user, if you're not gonna use the membership, it's almost like, ah, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Now, something that a lot of home gym owners or people that are using these because they're using their home is the storage component. Where am I gonna put it? Everything like that. The regular Hydro, it does store upright. That's why they've got like kind of a bumper here. You can fold this screen down. It is heavy, but most of the weight is on the front side. You can lift it up and then you can set it so it's setting there. The benefit, I think, to the Hydro Wave is that it stores smaller. You take out this pin, put it back in, you can then lift it up, it's much lighter. This is a piece that you're more likely to stand up, get out of the way, and then take down. Now, something we recognize with every piece of equipment is you're ordering it and you have to assemble it or you have to have it shipped into your house. A nice thing about the new Hydro Wave versus the regular Hydro is the regular Hydro ships on a pallet. It's the same cost, 150 bucks for both. Oftentimes they have free shipping discounts. So check the link below the like button if you want to check that out. But the new Hydro Wave is shipped in a box via UPS, which means you don't have to have a big driveway where a big truck has to come down on a pallet or anything like that. They're just gonna be able to deliver it on your doorstep and then it's mostly assembled. So then you can go ahead and assemble it and it's not very tough. That can be a deal breaker for people that live in apartments or things like that, so be aware. Okay, so here's what I really like about the Wave. Number one is the price, 1500 bucks. Like this is one of the cheapest smart rowers that's out there. It also uses Hydro service, which I think is one of the best that's out there. They say it has 300 levels of magnetic resistance levels. Basically, that's what they use for their drag factor. So you can use 300 different levels of magnetic resistance to dial in whatever drag factor you would want that'd be similar to what you'd use on like a Concept2 rower with the dial that goes from zero to 10 numbered and basically allows more air in. That's what you're basically dictating for the resistance here. The other thing I like is how compact and light it is. The rail on this is the same length as the rail over there, it's 47 inches. So you get the same amount of travel no matter how tall you are, but the big benefit is overall it's six inches short Order, so it may be better for people with smaller ceilings or smaller rooms, but also it's just easier to move around. It's lighter, it just works really well. And the last thing I really like is it's pretty much the same fit, finish, feel, all that kind of stuff as the regular Hydro. Like it's very high quality. There are some things you have to think about. Like for instance, the rail is actually separated from the body. So when you lift it up, you can see there is some like sway between the rail and the body. 
But if you tighten this up and when in use and place down, you don't feel it at all. So it's not something that I think really is gonna provide a factor. And I think the durability really will be there. But the thing that I really don't like, and this is same for Hydro, is that you have to have a membership pretty much. Like if you're just gonna use the just row function, you're not able to track any of your workouts. I just don't see a ton of people buying this if you're not gonna use your membership. But that to me can often be a deal breaker. So what you have to think about is should I get this one or the regular hydro? For me, for most people, I would definitely select this one. I mean, the only reason I'd suggest that one, if you really want the form function, money isn't a big issue, and you like the bigger TV mount that then swivels. You plan to do off-row or workouts. But if you're not that, which is majority of people, I would definitely recommend the cheaper Hydro Wave. You're then asking yourself, should I get the Hydro Wave or should I go with a normal rower like a Concept 2 rower? If you're not just crazy motivated about working out, having classes is gonna be more motivational for you to work out. But if you're not gonna spend on that membership, then I think a lot of people would be fine with a Concept 2 rower because of the way that they structure the just row function on here and you can't keep track of all your workouts. One other thing to consider about Hydro and some other companies are doing this too, is that if you have one membership, you can have unlimited accounts. So it's like one membership for your entire household, for whoever uses the rower and you can have multiple accounts, which is nice. But if you're the one that's really only rowing, may not be a big benefit to you. Okay, so this is the Hydro Wave. I'm impressed, I love the price point and I love that they didn't just make a crappy base model like this thing is a budget somewhat budget friendly at least compared to that one but is a freaking great rower like it just feels fantastic so big fan what do you think of the hydro wave let me know in the comments have you used any of the smart rowers are you excited for the peloton rower let me know this coop from garage and reviews and we will see you next time peace